Hi folks, welcome to the Underground Health Club. I'm your host today, Dr. Joe Casper. And you might be wondering, why am I wearing this jacket? It's a little chilly in here. Actually, it's a lot chilly. And in life, you have to adapt. But before we adapt to things, I want to thank our great sponsor, Muscle Goat, musclegoat.com. And actually, if you look below here, we have great flavors, vanilla, actually, chocolate, I'm sorry, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Excellent, they taste phen phenomenal, great for children, great for adults, no chemicals, no fillers. In fact, even the goats are fed apple cider vinegar. It's the best protein on the planet. You can't even buy it in the store. It's phenomenal. So musclegoat.com. So I want to thank them for sponsoring today's program. So I'm wearing my jacket, and if you look at this jacket, it is not a Denver Bronco jacket. It is not even a New York Met jacket, even though the colors are close. Uh, because New York Mets are my favorite baseball team. The jacket says, fire your diet on it. If you look, see, it says, fire your diet right on it. And that's the name of one of the books that I wrote. And I think it's a book that I'm going to share with you today, the information that will really help you. Here is what it looks like. It's a book right there. It lets me in the back right there. And I came up with Fire Your Diet because I am really against all diets. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. I'm against them all because in the, in the end, they don't work. They don't. And fire your diet. Uh, first, let me tell you what the acronym is for diet, folks. A, a diet is, stands for depression, insecurity, emotional trauma. They never last. And it's very interesting. Um, I've been getting phone calls lately, and I have people that I know around the globe. In fact, I just got back from the Internet Marketers Cruise that I've been on 10 times. Fantastic. And I meet people all the time who will tell me, I got this great idea, this great cleanse, this great product. And they starve themselves. They take a product, what happens? The weight comes back with vengeance. It's not going to work. So I'm going to get into the book. There's 17 chapters. I am not sure I'm going to get through everything, but here's what I'm going to do. For anyone who watches this program, if you email me, drjoecasper@gmail.com, that's D-R-J-O-E-K-A-S-P-E-R at gmail.com, you will get a copy of this book for free. Zero, nada, nothing, okay? You will get the Fire Diet book for as a gift from me, but you have to reach out to me, okay? So be my honor to do that. So let's, let's talk about this book. Let's get into a few things. First of all, the reason I, I did it originally years ago was back in 2005, the government was coming out with their new food, new food pyramid, okay? I went to slur my words, but I, I just did. <laughs> and I said, I need to counter that. And people go, Joe, you can't do that. And the government food pyramid got very complicated. It was improved from the last one from the 80s, but still wasn't good. Still was not good. And you got to be realistic. Look around. Most people are not going to follow these things. They're, they're not. But if we can give them some guidelines, some, some ways that they can improve, and that's what I think about as, as a nutrition doctor, what can I do as a professional to improve upon what people are doing? Are people going to follow every single thing in this book? No, not going to happen. But if they pick up a few nuggets, that's great. So let me begin by talking about the food pyramid that the government has. The original food pyramid had lots and lots of processed grains, okay? And I'm sorry, but for the most part, grains are not your best choice all the time. If you're talking whole grains, they're very, very processed. And for some people develop illnesses and diseases as they get older, and they can't have grains anymore. We talk about the whole gluten thing, okay? That's, an, that's, an, that's another issue. But what you want to do is you want to basically eat real food. And people talk about more fruits and vegetables. That's true. You can't go wrong that way. But here's something that you need to know. Fruits and vegetables together, not a good idea. So if you go out to dinner and you have whatever you're going to have, and you say, you know what, I don't really want cake for dessert. I want to have the fruit cup. You know what I'm telling you? Have the cake. You heard me. Have the cake. Now, don't have an enormous piece. But here's why. If you eat fruit on a full stomach, which is usually the case after dinner, especially going out, the fruit will sit inside your gut and will ferment, and that will cause problems, gas, all those things. So I advise my clients around the globe, if at all possible, to have fruit by itself as a snack. Now, the only one that can kind of go with vegetables a little bit is an apple. So, example, if you have a salad and you want to put some fruit, cut up the apple, that's fine. It's like the universal one that 
that seems to work very, very well with vegetables. But for the most part, you know, I would tell you, don't mix fruits with vegetables. Just, just don't. It's not a good idea. So what you can do is have the fruit way before the meal as a snack. Like, for example, before I came on, on the show here, um, I was a little hungry on the way down here. I just had an apple. Okay, sometimes I'll have a pear. But it all depends. And that gives me some minerals back in my body. I have water, of course, now. And then what I'll do is I'll have a meal after I film the show. And I will not have fruit. So hopefully that makes sense to you. And when the government teaches the food pyramid, unfortunately what they do is they don't break it totally down. They give you guidelines, okay? And sometimes those guidelines are not the best thing for you. So when it says fruits and vegetables, they're not saying organic, in a can, whatever. They're not doing that. For the most part, you want to eat things as fresh as humanly possible. And that's key. Meal skippers, not good. There's too many out there. I spoke to a lady today. She skips meals. Her thyroid's out of whack. So it's not normal to have these things out of whack. People think you get older, things get out of whack. Yeah, it can, it can happen. But what you want to do is you don't want to make it worse. Okay? You don't want to make it worse. So eat real food. Uh, fruit is a snack. And when you have your carbohydrates and your proteins, here's another thing too is people talk about food combining. There's a lot of theories on it. But reality-wise, if you can't follow the program, why even attempt? Okay? There's a reality to it. There's a big reality to it. So the government talks about in the pyramid of having, let's say, five to seven servings of fruits and vegetables. What does that mean? How many ounces? Two ounces? Four? It's very, very confusing. Okay? It really is. Are people really going to measure their food? I mean, are they? I doubt it. Some will, but for the most part, they won't. So you want to have a whole spectrum of choices as well. When you go to a store, you want to enjoy the process. Now, I go to the supermarket five, six times a week because I like going. I mean, I, I really enjoy going. I know it sounds crazy, but even if I was a multimillionaire, I would still go because I like going and connecting with people. And I don't think the person who, if I hire them, would think what I want. But you never know. But it's not something that, that I plan. So when you go to the market, I would tell you flat out too is the best stuff is going to be in the middle. Okay, it's going to be in the middle, especially, well, I'm thinking about sprouts. But the vegetables, the vegetables, the vegetables, the vegetables. Raw is always better, always better, but if you cook them, it's fine. Okay, but always can be, always never go wrong with that. Okay, so just think about what I'm saying and try to avoid, if you can, the process. So if you buy frozen fruits, frozen vegetables, the mineral and, and the nutrient content is going to be much lower because it was processed somehow to freeze it. Remember that. Fresh is always better. We have the greatest growers markets here about seven months a year here in Albuquerque, so use those as much as possible. But by the way, I just got a signal, and I'm talking too much. It's time to go to commercial break, and we will see you back here in about a minute or two. Thank you. Turbo Threads is a proud sponsor of ProView Networks. Almost 30 years of experience means fast service, great prices, and a wide selection of apparel from t-shirts to performance sports shirts, even jackets and hats. They feature low minimums and no setup charges on most orders. Turbo Threads is located at 1503 Golf Course Road in Rio Rancho, or find them on Facebook, online at TurboThreads.com, or call 999-1234 for Turbo Threads. Hello folks, I'm Dr. Joe Casper, and when it comes to protein, there's a lot of different products out there. And I'm going to tell you flat out, Muscle Goat Protein is the best protein on the market. No chemicals, no fillers, the goats are fed apple cider vinegar in their water every morning, no cows in the property, no cross-contamination, and people who have any kind of health issues can use it. For more information, go to www.musclegoat.com. Wondering if you can afford the ring of her dreams? At Crown Jewels and Coin, we actually double the diamond for what you would pay at a chain store. Trade in your old jewelry towards GIA certified diamonds. Choose from a large selection of settings featuring Viraggio. We can customize a design and offer no credit check, two year interest free financing. Get more than you ever thought possible here at Albuquerque's Family Jeweler for over 50 years. Crown Jewels and Coin for all you treasure. 3248 San Mateo at Kruger's Corner. Well, I'm going to the frontier, walk up to the cashier, order up a root beer and a number one. Cover it with green stuff, one scoop is not enough. Find a booth is real tough, back by the Duke. 
Meet my family, meet my friends In the quirkiest restaurant I have ever been All of Albuquerque's favorite spot It's the Frontier Restaurant The Frontier Restaurant is a proud supporter of ProView Sports Network Don't sacrifice quality of flavor when you're in a hurry Golden Pride offers ribs, fried chicken, green and red chili, breakfast burritos, and Frontier Cinnabons. Four great locations, or visit us online at goldenpride.abq.com. Golden Pride Barbecue Chicken and Ribs, proud supporter of ProView Sports Network. <laughs> and folks, we're back with the book Fire Your Diet. Um, I, I must admit this. Still chilly in here, so I'm wearing the jacket. So we're going to get into some more stuff on the book. And in fact, I'm going to go deeper into it right now. So I hope you guys are ready because I'm going to uncover some very, inf- I'm slurring my words again. <laughs> I'm going to get some information to you that's really going to help you and your family, I promise you. So I mentioned the food pyramid before, but understand this is, it's very generic, okay? The food pyramid is very generic. And it's a guideline that the government has. And it's very interesting that the hospitals and the school system sometimes follow that food pyramid, which I think is wrong. That's my opinion. I think it's completely wrong. You can't really measure and count all the time. And as I've always said, where the food comes from, from the beginning to your mouth matters. Let me say it again. From the beginning, how it was harvested, grown, everything, to your mouth, the land, it all makes a difference. So when you buy something and it says it has X amount of calories and X amount of nutrients, a lot of times it's not true. You will lie to. I'm sorry. It's not always true. So I mentioned before, before commercial break, how we uh, sometimes people, let's say, buy frozen fruit and frozen vegetables. Well, if you take, let's say, uh, fruit, okay, and you freeze it yourself, you buy regular fruit and you freeze it, that's going to be much better than buying it already frozen because they freeze it, there's a process, it sits around. So reality-wise, freeze your own fruit. Same with your own vegetables if you have to, but I would say you want to get the highest nutrient count, Try to buy fresh as possible. And someone might say, well, Joe, I can't afford that. And I'm hearing that a lot from people, but sometimes is it really affordability? Let me put this down. Is it really affordability or is it really value? Okay? So let me give an example of something. I don't see the value, personally, of going out to dinner for 250 bucks. I think it's a complete waste of money, my opinion. However, would, would I spend $150 on sneakers? In a minute, I do. Okay, because that is value to me. People go, I never spend that kind of money on sneakers. I do, because I see the value. Now, there's a certain point where something is ridiculously priced too. There are people going on vacation for $10,000, but they go like this, I can't afford organic food. You know, it's what you want. And again, there are some people who can't afford certain things, and I respect that. I understand, folks, I, I do. I am a recovering brokeaholic. Let me say it again. I'm a recovering brokeaholic, not the other one. So, going back to the book information. So, when you buy your food, try to get more fruits and vegetables, less of the processed foods. So another thing that's on, the, on my food pyramid, very simple, is water. Water is critical in our society to function, for brain function. And people go, all water is the same. It's not. All water is not the same. It, 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 really, it really isn't. And people go, what's better? Uh, distilled water, purified, alkaline, what's better? Okay, let, let's get into that a little bit. First of all, depending on where you live, tap water can have sediment in it. Tap water can also have some chemicals in it. Not the best. So spring water is better. However, sometimes the plastic leaches. So it all, it all depends. And some people have these great water machines. And if it works, it works. That's the bottom line. I'm not here to tell you what to do. The higher the alkaline level of the water, obviously the better because disease can, cannot really live in an alkaline state as well as an acidic state. So... When you get your water, be careful about that. And some people want to put a, put a filter in their house, in the refrigerator. That's great. Uh, some people want to use distilled water, which has no minerals. Distilled water is great for if you're doing any kind of cleanse in your body. But it's dead water. In other words, it has nothing in it. It was steamed to get it to be what it is. So very simple. If you want that water, that's fine too. Some people believe in eating fruits and vegetables, distilled water. Other people are like, no, distilled water is dead. You can have a million different opinions from a million different scientists. So do what works for you. I've used a still water sometimes when I travel because I might not trust the spring water where I am. Okay, so, and again, distilled is in the stores. Again, it's used for, for cooking sometimes. It's used for cleanses. So there's a lot of ways you, you can use it, okay? So what am I advocating? 
and what's best for you. What I am saying is tap water will be your worst choice. Let me say it again. In most places in the world, tap water is your worst choice, okay? Now, I met a few people who have a water system through their entire house. They spend Googles of money for it, and guess what? Their tap water and their shower water is amazing, so that, but that's not the norm. So anyway, the next thing let's talk about, this is, this is a huge, huge thing. Um, let's talk about protein, okay? I did my doctoral dissertation on how protein affects weight loss. And the funny thing is people, to, oh, actually weight loss and also the possibility of weight gain. Because we live in a world where people actually have too much protein. I believe in protein and people talk about in, in, the, in the muscle world more, 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 okay? Not always the case. Because a lot of times people can't break it down and it affects their kidneys. So most people that I know are getting enough protein in their food, okay? They, they really are. And then now, is protein powder good? Yes. The, the muscle ghost stuff is fantastic. Why? It has minerals in it. The cows, I'm sorry, there's, the cows, there's no cows on the property, okay? The goats are fed apple cider vinegar, and it's a very healthy place. So the lab, the farm, and the goats are on the same property, so the minerals from that are fantastic, all right? So, so that's, a, that's a different story. But do I tell people to live on muscle goat? No. Have a shake, great, but don't have five a day. Be realistic to yourself. The body needs protein. It absolutely does, okay? You need it. And people talk about kids having protein. I'm sorry, when you go to McDonald's, that chick, those chicken McNuggets, the protein is it's garbage. It's chemicals, it's fillers, there's sugar in, in the batter, all right? It's mass, mass produced. I hope I don't get sued by McDonald's for what I just said. But think about that. So I know the lines for the Chick-fil-A too. I just mentioned another one. I'm going to get in trouble. For all these places, okay, this is mass, mass production. So the protein in that, there's a lot of fat as well, but speaking of protein and fat, most people, okay, they count fat calories. How it's processed, the oils are a factor as well. So when you're eating your protein, if you're cooking it in certain oils, and by the way, a lot of oils turn rancid, like canola oil, safflower oil, a lot of these, and especially even olive oil can be rancid if, it's, if it light hits it and it's not in the right kind of bottle. All these things are facts, okay? So when you prepare food, it affects the content. So we absolutely need protein. And people might say, this person needs more protein. You know what? Your cells change every 90 days. Everyone's body is different. Everyone's different growth spurts. You got to be really careful as you say those things. Because a lot of people out there, and I'll say this too, is might need to stay in their lane. There's a lot of people giving health advice, and I'm like, do you really know what you're talking about? I mean, do I give advice on how to be a plumber, how to fix a toilet? No, I don't, because I don't know how. Okay, I, I mean, I did it once with my mother, but it's not my thing. So think about where the advice comes from, okay? And some great protein sources, I, I, I feel personally, elk, for animal protein, elk, deer meat, much better than chicken, not as processed, okay? So those are much better choices. So chicken isn't chicken, same with red meat. You gotta be very, very careful with that stuff, all right? So be careful. And there's also protein in vegetables, like peas and beans and stuff like that. You'd be surprised. Okay, pea protein is, is another great thing that can be mix, mixed with your shake as well. And we have that in the, in the muscle goat, which helps as well for protein content. So you're really getting it from more sources than you think. You just got to look it up. All right, folks, I just realized I'm talking a lot. And we will be back after the commercial break. We'll see you in a minute. Thank you. Don't forget, every ProView Network sporting event is on sale at our DVD store. Go to www.proviewnetworks.com to buy your DVD today. Hello, folks. I'm Dr. Joe Casper. And when it comes to protein, there's a lot of different products out there. And I'm going to tell you flat out, Muscle Goat Protein is the best protein on the market. No chemicals, no fillers. The goats are fed apple cider vinegar in their water every morning. No cows in the property. No cross-contamination. And people who have any kind of health issues can use it. For more information, go to www.musclegoat.com. Get into the game with Garden Swartz Team Sales. They have everything you need from screen printing, embroidery, and digital printing services, high school letterman jackets, and all high school and club uniforms and individual and team apparel with the most reliable brands like Speedline, Rollins, and Wilson. And don't forget to check out the latest F7 Shut Helmet. It's all at Garden Swartz Team Sales. Give them a call, 505-884-1234. Garden Swartz Team Sales. 
Well, I'm going to the frontier, walk up to the cashier, order up a root beer and a number one. Cover it with green stuff, one scoop is not enough. Find a booth is real tough, back by the Duke. Meet my family, meet my friends in the quirkiest restaurant I have ever been. All of Albuquerque's favorite spot, it's the Frontier Restaurant. The Frontier Restaurant is a proud supporter of ProView Sports Network. Hello folks, I'm Dr. Joe Casper. And when it comes to protein, there's a lot of different products out there. And I'm going to tell you flat out, Muscle Goat Protein is the best protein on the market. No chemicals, no fillers, the goats are fed apple cider vinegar in their water every morning, no cows in the property, no cross-contamination, and people who have any kind of health issues can use it. For more information, go to www.musclegoat.com. For 55 years, people have bought trucks from Tillery in Los Lunas. We have a great selection of vehicles, the quality service department, and some of the best deals in the state. But most importantly, we found people prefer to buy trucks from people who actually drive trucks. Tillery is a proud supporter of ProView Sports Network. Locally owned and operated, located in Las Lunas, right off I-25, exit 203. Sadie's is a proud supporter of New Mexico high school sports and athletics, and we here at ProView Networks would like to thank Sadie's for their continued support in helping us bring you all of your New Mexico high school sports coverage. Hey folks, we're back. We're going to finish talking about the book, Fire Your Diet. And remember what diet stands for? Depression, insecurity, emotional trauma. It's a victim club. And by saying that, I know the people who do the diet plans don't like me. In fact, I once went for research to, um, I went to, where did I go? I went to Jenny Craig and Weight Watchers. They were not happy with me. And I just asked questions. I didn't ask, I didn't tell them who I was, my profession, nothing. And they asked me to leave. So, because they were selling a lot of chemical snacks. And I said, well, why do you sell snacks with chemicals and fillers? And they go, well, everyone needs a treat. And I go, really? Interesting, because personally, I feel that why don't you give them healthy treats? That's how I feel. So, we're going to get into some really good information here. And again, we, so far, we've done stuff. We spoke about protein on the last segment. We spoke about the government food pyramid, uh, how my pyramid is a little bit different with more fruits and vegetables and less processing. So now we're going to hit on a subject that's huge, huge. Put the book down here. It's still cold, so i got to keep my jacket on. So... There's a chapter in the book called Milk Does a Body Bad. Again, milk does a body bad. What am I talking about? Cow's milk, okay? And I'm sorry all my friends out in Wisconsin, but cow is a huge animal with two stomachs, and it presents a problem. First of all, most people um, in the world do not use cow's milk, okay, for nutrients. We do in, the, in America, though. And... Think about it, we're taking, okay, milk from that huge animal, huge animal. And besides the fact that the cows are fed tons of hormones and they're, not, and they're slaughtered the wrong way, there's a lot of factors going on. And by the way, I found this out too, is a lot of times when people advertise hormone-free, chemical-free, the last two weeks of the animal's life, you heard me, the last two weeks of the animal's life, and that makes me sick. I know it happens with chicken a lot. So that's awful, awful. And by the way, speaking of chicken, a lot of times our chicken is grown here, sent to China, come back here, and that's how they do it, more processing. And it happens. My mom goes, did you know that? I've known that for 20 years, okay? Am I going to identify the companies? No, because I don't want to get me and my family killed. I'm serious. So that, that's a factor. So, so let's talk about this whole cow thing. The research on it is very inconclusive, okay? Because... People talk about calcium, building strong bones. I'm here to tell you that cow milk will actually leach your bones. It'll make it worse. It'll break them down. Okay? A lot of people that I know who have been on cow's milk, they have a lot of built-up inflammation. When you're not feeling well, what does the doctor say? Cut back on the dairy. Okay? The dairy meaning cow. Most people, the studies are done on cow. Are there other options? Yes, there are. Um, I personally feel, and I'm biased, and I admit it, that goat is a way better choice. So example, um, I've shown you guys mom's butter before. Okay, that is my mom's face on it. Mom'sButter.com. This is goat ghee. When it liquefies, 
It's not a problem. It doesn't get rancid or it gets solid. It's great. It tastes great too, but it's from one ingredient, from goat's milk. And often, people, let's say, who are having digestive issues use goat products. I've known a number of people who've given birth, and what happens is, let's say they can't breastfeed for whatever reason, and they use goat milk, the kid has no problem. The formulas they use called Peter Shore or pure junk, garbage, chemicals, and fills all along the line, doctor recommended, which means someone's getting paid off. Does it tick me off? You bet it does. So this is a much better choice for butter, let's say goat, than even the stuff out in the store because it's not processed. One ingredient. And your body can break it down much easier. So that's how I feel about the cow stuff. Be very, very careful. And I've known people who, you know, they go, my doctor said I have to have cow milk because I can't breastfeed. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Unfortunately, medical doctors, which I'm not, have maybe an hour nutrition. Maybe that much. They're not nutritionists. They're not. So if you ask my advice again, I can't tell you what to do. I can't prescribe. But goat is a much, much better choice. It's a smaller animal. And a lot of people I know who have goats, they feed their goats the right way. I have a lady in town. Um, I can't say her name because she, she's small, but she has goats in her backyard. She makes goat cheese, goat yogurt, phenomenal, raw stuff. It, it tastes great. Goat yogurt. And by the way, speaking of yogurt, there is no probiotics in Greek yogurt from a cow. Does not exist. Let me say it again. It is a scam. So if you want to add probiotics, I have it in my Powell Pack 3. Okay? I do. There's probiotics in these packets. But in the processing of Greek yogurt, mass produced, not going to happen. So again, if you need probiotics, we have them here. So don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. So this book, and by the way, we, we didn't even hit on the 17 chapters, okay? In fact, we're going to have to do another episode, maybe even two more to complete it because there's a lot of stuff. There's 17 chapters in this book. So we spoke about water. We spoke about protein, the government food pyramid. Milk does a body bad, which means cow milk does a body bad, okay? And folks, if you want to talk to me about this, I'm more than willing to talk to you about it. Um, I take health very, very serious, very serious. And I have a number of clients around the world who we got them off cow products. Guess what? They're feeling better. Inflammation went down, not up. Their, their bone levels have increased. Bone density levels higher without, without cow milk. Interesting, isn't it? Feeling much better. So think about that as you feed your children yourself. Think about it, okay? Think about what I just said. And when you go to the store and you buy products, whatever it is, look for the least processed foods. So when you read a label, people sometimes read a label, they don't know what they're reading. They're like, what's this, what's this, what's this chemical, what's this filler? They don't know. Less ingredients, better. Really, very simple. Momsbutter.com, one ingredient. The goat protein, four ingredients. That's unheard of in these industries. But that's how I do it. You want real stuff. Go to the store and get things with the least amount of processing. By the way, sprouted grain is much better than whole grain because the grain has been sprouted. So there's another option. By the way, some of the stores now sell for kids, I just realized this, sprouted grain cereal, which is a way better choice than frosted flakes. Okay? Think about all these things we're saying. And a lot of information on today's program, a lot. And we have so much more to cover. And as I said, you want this book for free, you deserve it, email me, drjoecasper at gmail.com. Dr. J-O-E-K-A-S-P-E-R at gmail.com and you'll get your free fire diet book, 17 simple ways to stay out of the doctor's office, which is what you want to do, which is really what you want to do. So on that note, I want to thank our sponsor, Muscle Goat. Let me move that stuff over here if I can get out of the way. And again, as, we, as I point below here, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, the best protein on the planet, no question. Again, folks, to reach me, here's my private number. I challenge you to call me, 917-399-9754. That's 917-399-9754. And remember, your health is your wealth. Never, ever forget it. Bye, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day.